Hello, my name is Majella Brennan Barge, and I'm one of the lecturers at Craven College's Aviation Academy, and we are based airside at Leeds Bradford Airport. Um, we are in working partnership with Jet2.com and Leeds Bradford Airport. So at the Aviation Academy, we run a range of courses starting at um, our students come in after they've um, at 16. Um, and they run right through to when they do the A-level equivalent at a level, level three. And then their natural progression after that is to carry on with us on to our undergraduate programme uh, at level four, which is an aviation management and operations foundation degree, which takes two years. After they have finished their foundation degree, they can either graduate here at um, Skipton Castle or they can decide to continue on to do a full degree, um, which is a BSc in air transport management. So some of the destinations that our students end up going to or working in um, are sort of from around the world as far as Qantas in Australia to actually just to skip across the apron to Leeds Bradford itself. Okay, so the average wage in the aviation industry is of just under £29,000 and about 90% of our students end up gaining employment in the aviation industry. Um, there's been sort of a an upward projected growth over the years from um, our students who have got jobs within air traffic control, travel assistance, and students who have gone on to be pilots um, and engineers. So we're just looking at um, the upward trend in aviation from 1976 uh, to last year. Um, and as you can see over the year over the years there has been some dips um, within the aviation industry um, notably here when we had a sort of downturn in the economy in sort of 2009 2010 which is recovered um, which is quite quite normal for for trends to sort of move up and down within the aviation industry Our foundation degree and our BSc honours degree top up, they are both validated by the Open University. Okay, so as I said previously, our foundation degree programme is a two year programme and then after that, the students can choose to continue on to do a full BSc in air transport management. So these are some of the modules. Um, if you do choose to study with us, these are some of the modules that you would study in your first, first year. So we've put these modules together to ensure that students have a really good foundation, whether they've come in from external educational providers after sitting A-levels, after sitting um, a different qualification elsewhere, or if the students have actually progressed with us through from their level three qualification. Um, one of the main modules we do in semester one is our personal and professional development, where students research their own study skills um, they really sort of analytically look at themselves, look at the skills they need to study on a degree programme. They learn how to reference, how to research, and then they do both a presentation on what they've learned, and then they write a paper on sustainability to allow them to put those skills that they've learned into action. We also begin with um, modules as well, such as airline operations and airport operations, so that the students get a really good grounding in the different facets involved in both the airlines and the airports, and then obviously how the industry has developed over the years. And as well, one of the main aspects of aviation is within health, safety and security within the industry. So on year two, if the students decide to um, follow the management pathway, um, we really have quite a broad range of modules that allows the students to look at from economics um, of air transport so that they can be really informed. If they end up working within the management team, um, we look at the principles of leadership and management so they gain those knowledge um, and they have a really good understanding of what is involved with being a leader and a manager. 
they choose their own project which they see through um, and as well they look at human resource management and the skills and requirements and the legal side of actually managing people as well as looking at the development of the business and then obviously um, decision making within management within the industry. If our students, when they um, join us, they decide to study the management with pilot studies pathways, they do still um, study some of the business and management modules, um, but we substitute then air transport economics and project management for factors such as human performance. So they really get a good idea about how the body copes um, with working um, irregular shifts and flying and then um, they also think about and investigate navigation and explore maps and how to actually plot um, the route from destination to destination. So those, um, this pathway is for students who um, perhaps want to do a management pathway but could be studying um, for their private pilot's license and their CAA exams externally. Okay, so as I said earlier, the students can finish at the end of their foundation degree. And then for those students who decide that they want to continue on and get a full BSc in air transport management, um, they study two modules in semester one and two modules in semester two. Um, but alongside that, their dissertation runs right across semester one and semester two. Okay, so they look at strategy within aviation management. They also look at being really having critical perspectives within the aviation industry. They investigate some disasters over the years and critically evaluate um, and complete a tabletop exercise about how, if they were a manager um, and were, base, were sort of um, looking at a, an unfurling disaster, how they would cope with that situation and then they reflect on how actually they could have done things differently. They, because of the changing face of the aviation industry and indeed um, environmental issues within the um, globally, uh, the students, we aim to make them um, innovative and looking at how to implement some different theories about how to implement change within um, the industry as well. The students build on all the knowledge they gained on their foundation degree and then they choose to write a research paper which is 8,000 words and they're given a research supervisor after the, they're taught how to use different um, methodologies and methods to actually carry out their research. Okay so um, previously it was 120 UCAS points but as part of our widening per participation um, we ask students to have achieved 48 UCAS points. They need to have achieved um, a grade C um, or grade 4 in their English and Maths and they also need to have a clear DBS check as they will be working within secure space at the airport um, as well. Indeed, some of our students come back to studying after being away from education for many years. And for those students, we would really encourage you and ask you to just apply um, and you would just have a, um, an interview um, with one of our staff. OK, so how to apply. So all applications must be made through UCAS. Um, at the www.ucas.com website and the buzzword for Craven College is Craven 20. Um, to secure your place we'd really encourage you to apply now um, or um, and you can come along to our open evening in June um, coronavirus um, permitting. Um, when you do apply you will be sent out um, an invitation to join us um, for one of our futures mornings where you can come along, you can bring a friend or a parent with you and you have a little taster of 
some of our sessions, you get to know and um, meet some of the tutors on your course. Um, we provide refreshments and it just gives you a really nice feel about where we're based airside at Leeds Bradford Airport and just makes you more comfortable with the, we can discuss things like accommodation in the area if you're living far away um, and any questions perhaps that your parents, carers or friends might have either. Thank you. I've always been into aviation. I've always liked aeroplanes, booking holidays, going on holidays. I do know I want to be in an airport and working for an airline. And I just thought, do you know what? I'm, I'm going to do this. Being able to, to go back to university, especially having a young family, it was a decision that I couldn't take easily. I'm currently working um, for myself, so the course definitely allows for a lot of flexibility for me to be able to, to fit those commitments in as well. I really enjoyed the course here at Graven College because um, I was actually looking at going to a big, uh, a big university at first, but this kind of took me. It's a really unique airside campus. You're walking amongst people like engineers, pilots, ground staff who uh, you see on a daily basis. Um, they give you lots of opportunities to go on aviation related trips. For example, last year we went for a tour of Manchester Airport. This year we actually got the chance to help out at an emergency exercise at Leeds Bradford Airport, which not many people get the chance to do. You're not just the number, you are made to feel like a person. If you're a busy working person, it can fit in really well around your life. Anybody can do it. Anybody can do a degree. Just put your mind to it and you'll succeed.